Hey everybody, Solo Warlock coming to you guys with another exciting episode of Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. It has been forever since I've recorded. Things are getting a lot better. Um, I've started a bath bomb and shower steamer business and it's, it's, it's gonna do pretty good. So, anyways, let's do the boss cudgels contest and kick his boom. So, like I think I mentioned before, GBA games don't register on my headset, so I don't get to hear them. But anyways, for this boss, every time he lands after a jump, he creates a shockwave in which you have to jump, and then on the third time, he will give you a TNT barrel in which you can then throw at him. And then you gotta do this three times, each time, you know, being faster than the last, and then he'll change up after the third hit. Uh, this is a really easy mission with both Diddy and Dixie. Well, not mission. I just mean, uh, level. The only things I'm not really looking forward to are the Espresso Races and the, uh, Funky Flights missions. I really do not like them. While it is a good addition, it's a little clunky. But anyways, for this phase, he'll just do this. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Every slow jump, he'll shockwave the ground and, whoa, that looks a little too close for comfort. Is a throat. Also, I don't get to listen to the awesome boss music. Uh, if you guys are into Pokemon videos, uh, you should totally check out Weedle to a Needle's uh, Wi-Fi battles. He does a lot of, um, like, he uses a lot of Donkey Kong Country 2 music. I don't know if he really uses, uh, t uh, 1 or 3's music. Well, I know he's, he uses the bonus music from Donkey Kong Country 1, but, man, it's, it's crazy. So if you're into both Pokemon and into gaming, well, Wheel Twin Neal is the best uh, person for that. This seems too easy. I hope you are cheating. You have to keep moving. DK is depending on you. Off you go to Crazy Kremlin. Don't stop for any of the rides, though. You know, gotta throw that in there. I'm amazed he didn't say anything like that. Um, I don't believe it says we got everything because we did not do the cranky. Um, does it ever say we got all the gold? Oh, no, no, I forgot to look up where the gold feather was in Slime Climb, I believe it was, so. Anyways, let's go to Crazy Kremlin and start off with level 1, Hornet Hole. It does not sound like a pleasant uh, level name. Though, I'm not a, I don't hate hornets, they're kind of annoying though. Uh, bees, bees are amazing, I absolutely love honey, I'd rather sweeten things with honey than with sugar. Though, I do eat pretty unhealthy. Like, I'm not super overweight or anything like that. I've got a belly, but I'm not crazy overweight. It's just, you know, something that I gotta work on myself. Also, uh, YouTube seems to be doing better with the demonetization. And when I mean that, I don't mean, like, copyright because of, like, a soundtrack or anything like that. I don't care if my video gets copyrighted for a soundtrack. I don't even care that I make, like, a cent on a video. It's just the fact that... Your monetization gets, you know, deactivated because of something that is just dumb, like, this isn't viewer-friendly, but yet then, it really is viewer-friendly. Like, you're just, like, talking about puppies, but somewhere along the line, someone, you know, voted against saying puppies are the devil spawn or something like that, and then YouTube was... They're getting better, you can generally talk to them, and I do appreciate that they actually are starting to listen. They still are a little eh with it. I think it's because they're changing a lot of things up. Hang on a sec. Okay, I'm sorry if that made like a loud crackle, crackle, or crackle, or no, if it made like a large crackle or something because I was just moving the microphone around. It was starting to slide. I use a blue snowball and the stand on it is a little loose per se, and it just starts to cause things to. It's so weird playing this without music. Like, if you guys watched my last two episodes, they were kind I think it was two episodes. It might have been even three. But they were pretty bad, just simply due to the fact that I got, like, half the audio, so I was extremely distracted. So we got some spinings to deal with, and I think we can actually roll into that. I believe in the original one, you actually have to use Dixie, but wait a second. Unless... Unless you don't... You're not actually supposed to go up here yet. Jeez Louise, man, that was... That was just... Okay, for, for some reason there's a blind spot on my controller. Yeah, I believe you're actually supposed to come from a different way. So I should know. Oh, 
what I meant to do. Yeah, this world has a lot of different level types. Oh, man, I took some dumb damage on that darn spiny. Oh, yeah, yeah, because there's the hooks over there. Uh, yeah, but there's, like, honey levels. There's a swamp level, which is the last swamp level in the game. As you guys know, there's, I believe, three of each type of level. Oh, yeah, in this game, there's the gold feather. Actually, I don't even know if you can go up here on the original. I'll have to double-check my videos. See if you could. But, um, this part, this part's important. Well, like, as I was saying, um... Oh, yeah, the different types of level. I believe there's three types of level, though. The... The newest type of level that we get introduced to in this world uh, does not show up uh, the same in the uh, next world. Like third level is in the next world, but it doesn't show up the same. I don't believe I got that. I guess I did get the K. K for Kelly, aka Solar Warlock. Yeah, I have a girl's name. What you gonna do about it? It's not like the guy from Family Guy there for a second. Did I grab those bananas up there? I did. How I grab those bananas way up there, I do not know, but I will happily take it. Now, you do need Squitter for the DK coin here. We already got the Gold uh, Feather. Right. Is it technically Gold Feather or Espresso Feather? But either way, we got it. And now all we need is the DK coin. We do need Squitter, and it's coming up real soon here. We don't want to fail it because we're going to have to backtrack like half the level. But yeah, see, because you need them to get down here, then even if you do sack off a comic to get down here, you're not going to be able to get past them. And then get this DK coin, which is our 22nd out of 68. This didn't end on 69, am I right, fans of the 69? So I believe our last bonus is up here. Yeah, this uh, controller and blind spot really doesn't like me to turn left or right when I wanted to. So we need a uh, squitter to get up here. I also forgot to mention, but you guys could clearly tell, that Squitter is immune to the honey. Um, I also apologize if my words kind of slur together. I'm not entirely sure if they do or not, but because of my uh, broken tooth and damage to my jaw, it, it might come out like that. I apologize if it annoys you. I also apologize for any voice cracks that I may or may not have because of, you know, just issues with my mouth in general again. I also have uh, really bad lymph nodes that cause my um, cause my voice to be slightly damaged. But what can you do about it? It's like the Klondike bar song. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Okay, my web uh, it also disappeared. You guys seen to create a platform, right? Like, I could hear the ding from that, but that was literally the only sound effect I have ever heard in this game so far. So, yeah. Kind of figured the G would be here. And we missed the end because in the original game, the N is also obtainable with Squitter. Uh, if you don't go in the barrel, but this one, not so much. But we got 100% on this level, I believe. Uh, you have nothing for us, so we don't even need you to save. But let's go to our first roller coaster level, Target Terror. And, uh, yeah, these levels are mm, not as good as the original. The original has, like, the nighttime background and just looks amazing. So we have six, 76 lives. Like, holy cow. Like, sadly, I'm good at Donkey Kong. Uh, also, Gold Feather right there. But I'm not good at, uh, a lot of other... I wouldn't say platformers. I'm decent at platformers. And I know that you guys probably couldn't tell from my showing last time that I'm actually good at this game, but I am. Uh, I've played it years. But, like, there are certain games out there like beat-em-ups, specifically SNES beat-em-ups, that I am not very good at. And I do not know why. I tried playing um, Marvel War for the Gems or whatever, Battle for the Gems. No, I believe it's War for the Gems, and it's like the... The Infinity War storyline, you know, the one that's being turned into a movie. Ah, uh, the trailer is out, by the way. Go check it out. It looks amazing. Not as, like, hyped as other people make it out to be. Like, yes, I love, um, superheroes. I love comics, and they're literally my life. But I don't get obsessed with them, you know? Like, I'm not gonna analyze the trailer for every little Easter egg. But, 
but I will be doing that on my comic book channel, start analyzing stuff because it seems that a lot of viewers like that type of stuff. So I'm going to be doing like a geek channel like on my Halo TV. Uh, we'll be seeing Pokemon, we'll be seeing comic books, and we'll be seeing other nerdy stuff that you guys will probably thoroughly enjoy. At least I hope you guys will enjoy. I'm pretty sure you guys will. Uh, we're on the road to 8k subscribers. 800 subscribers. We're not even at a K yet. But once we do, uh, I will be giving away Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So if you guys are watching this video all the way through and you hear that, go check it out. The link is on my channel somewhere. I believe I have it on the side channels. Look for Halo TV. Or if you guys want to actually just search it up, it's www.youtube.com slash user slash YGO Unboxer. Like YGO and then Unboxer. I used to be a Yu-Gi-Oh uh, uh, YouTuber, but I got into Magic. It did amazingly well compared to Yu-Gi-Oh, and then I got into that. Yeah, that done failed me. I still believe that's the last one. Yep, it is. Uh, it's the one that has like a random. It's not the one that has like a random uh, DK barrel. Boink! Free one up. But yeah. Uh, if you guys want to check out that channel for the contest or any other futuristic contest, then please feel free to do so. Also, my girlfriend has a message from back. Oh, I forgot to check my messages before I started recording, and I'm like, oh, darn. Anyways, second Bramble level, Bramble Scramble, so you guys get to listen to that epic Bramble music again. Oh, don't you guys just love that? Except... Originally, the background was supposed to be dark blue. For some reason, they did the green color that is the background of, well, a way future level. So you will see this background again, where you're actually supposed to see it. What did that even hit? Just, like, hit off screen and hit something or other, but nothing of importance. So, to get the first bonus, though, you, you need both Kongs, and you need to go up there, throw your Kong, get the invincibility, and go through these brambles. That was, that was a fail. Uh, it doesn't last very long. You can also get a banana coin up there if you really, really want it. But we don't need it. Also, yeah, I, I kind of got bored of Pokemon, so I now feel like I just like to record, and I'm not going to rush my recording anymore. I don't really want to edit too much, but at the same time, if a video like needs a lot of backtracking or this and that, I will definitely, definitely... Darn it. Definitely piece it together and... Oh, okay. Oh, no, they kept it that way. Eh, we'll come back for that bonus, I guess. It's like, we don't need to beat an entire level to get the bonus as, like, you know, like a, I don't even know, to keep the bonus, or to keep the crumb coin that we get from the bonus, we just have to actually do it and then we can leave afterwards, so, overall, not the worst, like I said, I just have a weird issue with playing without the sound, I play without the sound when I'm, like, not wearing a headset, but since everything is muffled when I wear a headset to begin with, it just, it's just really weird, I, I don't know if you guys believe me or feel the same way about it, but that's just me. So, maybe there's some, yeah, there's some goodies up here if you can squeeze through. See, I can hear those bananas. I can't hear any other bananas. Also, random letter O. I guess I will still do um, Swanky's bonus bonanza if you guys want. I know you guys probably like that to know the answers. If you guys don't really know the answers or you just need some extra lives and don't really want to figure it out yourself. Also, uh, grab this checkpoint because there is a little segment over here for Squitter. And this is exactly how I get the DK coin. Once again, Squitter coming through with the DK coin. Now, the next level of the game is one that not a lot of people enjoy. Uh, while it is a good concept, it can be a little bit of an issue for a lot of people. Oh, might as well. Enough bananas here to get a 1-up. Now we're at 81. 82. But it's another ro uh, another roller coaster level, right? But to get the DK coin, it's kind of an issue. Because you have to race them. And in the GBA version, it's a lot harder to actually get to the ending uh, first than it is in the SNES version. 
you guys watch my SNES playthrough of the game, you guys will clearly see that it is not that difficult, and free gold feather, pretty much. We don't actually have to look for it, like, even if it's just swarmed by enemies. So much nicer. Oh, darn it. I thought they were coming from the other way for some reason. You get a lot of these segments in these thorn levels where you just gotta deal with bees. I believe you gotta deal with them even in the final one. Like I said, there are three of each level. Just the roller coaster one is a little bit different. It's not your traditional uh, roller coaster level. So, isn't this like the necky part? It is the necky part. Ooh. Whoa! There was an off screen necky there, guys and gals. And everyone who identifies as other things, I don't want to offend anyone. Whoa, forgot that. What? Okay, I did not have time to make that through. Make it through that. Oh, yeah, this part. Without the uh, sound effect, this is going to be annoying. Uh, there's also another DK coin in this world that is going to be annoying because I don't have the sound effects. <laughs> so. I've been kind of dreading recording that, that uh, I guess, segment for quite some time. Hence, why I haven't actually recorded in a while. Like, I actually have a few episodes you guys haven't seen yet. Like, I haven't uploaded part three of this yet, which is still on my um, computer. I'm uploading Kirby's second part right now, actually. It should be done probably by the time this video is done, or at least in the processing stage, so you guys will see it on the 4th of December. And then I'll start getting back to daily uploads uh, once I record enough of these videos to actually have enough. But, it... See, what got me is I can't see him off screen. Ah, darn it. Gosh darn it, sorry, sorry, I don't mean to offend uh, anybody who believes in any religion. Uh, you know, don't want any people being offended. And no, I'm not being sarcastic. I actually mean I don't want anyone being offended. This is a gaming channel. Not a political channel or a hate speech channel. Wait, was there literally only that one bonus? I think there was. There we go. 83 lives. And we have to go back and get that bonus that we clearly missed out on. And then we can probably do one or two more levels depending on the time. I did lower the, um, uh, the, uh... I wouldn't say necessarily frame rate, but yes, frame rate, because this game only runs it, I believe, 20 frames per second naturally. So I lowered it to, um... 40? I had it running on 60, and this game did not run on 60 at all, like... Nothing, nothing changed about it. And it was crazy, so let's, let's just do this. Um, so here, yeah. For the parts that I don't really have anything to talk about, I'll speed up or just edit out completely. So you guys don't have to sit through it. Okay, guys, you know, don't have to, like, I won't speed it up, like, if we haven't gone there yet or anything like that, but, like, any... I guess backtracking would be sped up, or like, the used content that we have to go and see. Kind of hoping we can do the Lost World uh, level in this episode. I really love those levels, and I'm kind of sure it's the annoying one now that I want to kind of get out of the way. And I want to get it out of the way as quickly as possible. Um. Wait, can I not? Um. Wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, yeah, 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 I forgot. I just had it had a different setup for some reason. I think I'm playing a SNES game. But anyways, Bramble Scramble is done. Uh, Funky's Flights 2. I guess we can see what they are. Okay, what do we got this time? Kongnap Zingers have attacked Kong Island and kidnapped members of the Kong family. Go and rescue them. Pick up a passenger, land beside them, and they will jump right on. Once they are on board, take them back to the helipad. Just rescue six hostages to complete the mission. Five minutes of flying time. Okay, this doesn't sound as bad as that statue one. And I apologize, like, oh, there are way more Kongs than... Alright, we have infinite ammo again. Like I said, once again, the lack of sound effects will be an issue. 
Okay, the Kongs are above us. But... I guess up here? Oh god, Singer. Wait, what? Oh! Okay. Wait. Tiny Kong from, um... Donkey Kong 64? That's interesting. It's a little weird, but okay. Okay, Zinger's got one over here. This is the Zinger, though. That, that Zinger doesn't have anyone. I don't know. Taking all of the damage in the world. Not really, but yeah, I don't know what that was. But... Okay, there are Zingers, but there are no Kongs. Not really. Ow! At least we kill it. I think it's just this. Oh. Dude. It's just Tiny Kong all, all the time, I guess. Okay, now this way, maybe? Does this just loop around and maybe notice that it loops around? Ah, the sound effect that I can actually hear sounds like a creepy little chitter. So... It's a little unsettling, but... Maybe keep you guys. Oh no! A Kong died for some weird reason. How many do I actually have to rescue? For it to be success, do I have to rescue them all? Because clearly one of them died for no apparent reason. Also, I took. I don't even know what that is. Seem to benefit me at all. Also, for some reason, it stopped me from moving. Alright, the Kong is underneath us. Oh, right there. There isn't like random spots. Also, like if I do, if I do fail. I never played this. Oh. That uh, that was not bad. I guess it's just kind of like Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, you know? You just gotta get a certain amount. But we actually still don't actually have time to do that level. And I forgot that this part actually auto-saves your game. Which I find weird, because it's the only part that does. I'm pretty sure Granky's will too, but we'll see. Anyways, we have Rickety Race. That does not sound safe at all, and I actually believe we have the right con out for this. They give you a barrel down there, just in case. You don't have both guns, but here's the first one. It's actually not a barrel like that in the original. It's a, um... Ah, uh, whatchamacallit. Just, like, a door they go in. Oh, we already completed it. That's pretty cool. There is another bonus? No. No, I... I think it's the gold feather I'm thinking of where it is. Okay, now hold back because while we are going slower, we get this. With this, as long as we hold right, we'll have enough momentum to destroy the first few of them without any repercussions. You don't actually need to kill them, uh, you just need to pass them. I believe you do need to kill the last one though. Ooh, see, yeah, if you don't do that, that boost, I don't believe you can make it to him in that time frame. The biggest issue with this is your finger might slip off the uh, D-pad or analog stick, depending on what you're using. So you can play this on GameCube. I'm pretty sure you can also play it on... Well, I know it's on emulators and stuff like that, but... I'm pretty sure there's other things you can play it on. And I'm pretty sure since I never got the N yet, I'm actually far behind. So I'm pretty sure to get the uh, DK coin you need the N right away. I think it's the N that's found on here, not the G. We failed because we got bumped. Oh well. If I don't get it right away, yeah. Where's the gold feather? Maybe it isn't the gold feather at the ending that I was thinking of. Maybe it's just like a calm. But like you can't take damage here. Oh god, we completely failed. Holy cow. No, never mind. I was thinking of a totally different level in general. And there's really not any good prizes, so we'll just take the coin and go. Okay, so we're on take two. 
Now you guys might have seen that I sped up the beginning a little bit. Uh, I had to go run an errand briefly. I'm hoping I can get this entire level done in this recording. Because, uh, yeah, it's getting close to when I actually have to go, and I don't want to have to go in the middle of doing this level. Or do it off screen. I jumped up a hill last time and it screwed me up, so that might be the issue. Yeah, this was after him that I started screwing up. It was like up here. Yeah, I think it was this part. Yeah, I tried jumping on him well before I could. Oh, it was right there, I believe, that I tried. Alright, third take. I keep failing on him for some reason. I don't know why I keep doing that. The Game Boy version, like I said, is a heck of a lot harder. The good news is we're not losing any lives doing this and we're just gaining a bunch of goodies like bananas, coins, and lives, but still, it's a pain. Woo. Okay. Fourth time's the charm, I totally failed at. If I don't get it in this take, I'm just going to do it off screen. I'll probably start the next episode when I actually get to him. Other than that, I believe there's only two levels left to this entire world. Uh, not including, like, swanky or cranky, but... Yeah, see, for this one coming up here, we actually do have to jump off this hill. While it's going... Not while it's going down. What?! Okay, yeah, I'll just get it off screen, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and in the next episode, we will meet you back at the uh, coin. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.